We, we, we always have to be careful when we're talking about potential cures for something like Alzheimer's, where, where dementia affects so many people in this country. But just tell us why there, is, there does seem to be a real excitement about this research carried out by your university and those in Germany. Is that right? That's correct. Um, I think when you're trying to come up with new therapies for treating any disease, and obviously Alzheimer's is a, is a very important disease where we don't have uh, good therapies. The key thing is to actually try and target the thing within our cells that's, that's no longer working correctly, or you know, if it's an infectious disease, it will be the organism that's causing it. And the exciting thing, I think, from the study that's reported today is that we've actually identified, I think, the, I guess, the component of our cells, the protein in the cells that's actually leading to the disease. That protein's been known for a long time, but it exists in multiple forms uh, within nerve cells. And what we've identified is a previously completely unknown form of the protein. And that appears to be the key driver of Alzheimer's disease. And what's very exciting is that there are a number of well-proven models of Alzheimer's disease that have been developed in mice. And targeting this form of the protein in two mouse models gave spectacular results in terms of halting the progression of the disease in those mouse models. And interestingly, it's not just about halting the disease. You think your research leads to a suggestion you could vaccinate for Alzheimer's? Yeah, that was the real surprise that came out of the work. So in my group, we look at the molecular structures of, of proteins. And what we discovered was that when a candidate therapeutic antibody was binding to part of this particular protein, we got this unique form of the protein bound to the antibody. And that sort of suggested that there was a way of stabilizing that unique form. It forms a hairpin type structure. And so as with a hairpin, if you just lock together the two ends of a hairpin, obviously that sort of holds it in, the, in place. And there was a, a thought across the collaborators that maybe that stabilized form of the protein potentially might, you know, give a therapeutic effect as a vaccine. And I guess the most spectacular result, yeah, if you vaccinate mice with that stabilized form of the protein, then you get what looks like pretty much complete halt and progression of the disease. Um, Pro Professor, how, how can you tell if you're doing that in a mouse? I mean, how can you spot memory repair in a mouse? OK, so what we do, so the group in Germany use exactly the same diagnostic tools on the mice that are used in human Alzheimer's patients. So they're using uh, non-invasive imaging technology. So this is MRI scans and also PET imaging to look at, look at what's going on in the mice brains um, and that's exactly what's used with Alzheimer's patients and then what you can also do with mice is you can test the sort of ability to find a platform in a simple swimming test which is a test of memory and so you can ask the question how well do the mice remember where the platform is uh, in, in a small bath and what you know look at the effect of either your therapeutic anti or your vaccine on their ability to find that platform and remember where it is